everybody welcome to another christmas video today i'm sharing with you how i have decorated my tree very simply in a rustic cottage style and on a very minimal budget so my tree behind me is a seven foot tall tree um artificial we got it a couple years ago from walmart after christmas so it was about a 30 dollar tree and it is a little large for our smaller space, but I really do like a large tree. Now to begin with, I strung my lights and I love lights. So I put 500 lights on this tree and I did have to buy some new ones because the ones I had from last year, a few of them, the strings half worked, half didn't. So that was something that, you know, would cost a little bit more because I got them $5 per strand of 100. So I bought three extra strings. But really that's not too bad because then they'll continue to last for several more years. But lights to me are a thing that really makes a tree beautiful and just glow. And I love soft white lights. Um, colored lights are great, but I definitely am a white light girl. And then I did some garland um, beads actually. These beads were given to me my, by my mom because um, she didn't use them for years and years. So she actually just gave them to me so they were free. And I like that rustic red color that it pulls in. And then I found some ribbon at a thrift store and it was like a hundred foot of ribbon. And then I cut it and just kind of haphazardly hung it on there. I've never done it that way where they go different directions. But I'd been seeing some of that around on Pinterest and Instagram and stuff like that. And I thought that was a really cool idea. And that way you don't have to just continually wrap it around and you use less ribbon that way. So I did that with a gold, like um, one and a half inch ribbon. And then I made this DIY hem garland. Now I will link that video in the description box for you. I just did that uh, about a week ago. And this was a free DIY for me. And I just love how it adds that cozy, homey, homemade feel to my tree. And of course, having the Christmas hymns show on the front is really beautiful and a great way to add that Christmas touch. Now, my ornaments, I really minimized this year. I did not add all the ornaments that my family gives to us regularly because they weren't really in my color scheme. Um, some of them are. So for example, this angel is a beautiful rustic ornament that I got a couple years ago from my mom and I have a couple matching ones that I put on the tree and I think that's just really beautiful and then still has some memories to it. And a couple other snowmen and such were given to be my, my mom. She gives all of us ornaments every year. So I did add those on there. Um, and then most of my other ornaments, so the gold Christmas balls that come in like a matte gold and then a sparkly gold were from either the Dollar General or Dollar Tree, so like a dollar or two for a container of 12. And that just adds that gold again and a pop of glitter, which I really do like, kind of tucked into the tree a little bit. And then I also have these um, plaid, like a star and a circle and a Christmas tree. Those are all Dollar Tree ornaments, I think from a couple years ago. And I really like how they just kind of pull out that red again. And again, that rustic vibe that I'm going for and cottagey and I just think those are beautiful and super affordable. A couple other like the little snowmen that say peace or joy on them again, Dollar Tree. Oh, the cloth ones that are snowflakes, Dollar Tree again as well. I don't remember what year that was last year so, but I just think they're so, they're so handmade looking and so cozy. And um, another benefit of having these ornaments that are not breakable honestly because the christmas balls are all plastic is my little girl can play then as well which i don't let her really touch the tree she has two little ornaments i let her put on and off the tree but you know then she gets to enjoy the experience too and so i try not to have a bunch of glass breakable ornaments there's a few tucked up in the back on the top that i did put but not a whole lot so i really like how my tree came together this year um, it took just a little bit of finagling and coordinating, but I really, really like it. And it was on a super affordable budget. Going to the Dollar Tree, 
thrifted, hand-me-down, gifted, really. It's, it's a great way to decorate a tree, and that way, if you want, you can change it out yearly. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I decorated my tree. I will be doing more room decoration videos for you or little vignette areas that um, will be coming up in the next several weeks. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you subscribe and join my YouTube community. I'd love to have you here. With that, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful weekend and I'll talk with you in my next video. Bye.